everybody back with a quick video uh this was the other mail to uh my mail day today but i didn't want to make the eloise break thing too long so i decided to make this later i've already sorted all of that series two stuff i have like all the inserts and all that good stuff everything is organized all the rookies are put together these are all like all the stadium cards are sleeved and put together so all the future stars are together all the those tops whatever whatever they are yeah three boxes of that stuff and somehow you end up with like i don't know for example uh let's see which ones I guess like so three boxes i got four new york new york mets ones four baltimore yeah it's just crazy four cleveland's very weird like i said you get matching cards in the same boxes but it's weird but they're all there here's just one of the stacks of the base i kind of went through again to see if i could find any short prints and there's a couple i was gonna look up but uh, I don't think those are it. But I think I found a Will Myers one. I think this is the variation compared to this. But I got to look this up. Found a couple more rookies that I missed when I was opening up another box. I got to sleeve up and put in the proper locations. Uh, like I said, yeah. So anyway, I got into a break with, uh, who was it? Markdown Entertainment. They had a couple teams left. I think it was like, I don't know, four boxes of Dunruss. And um, possibly, maybe it was two boxes of Dunruss. I don't know, and a couple boxes of National Treasures. Maybe it was a case and two boxes of Dunruss. I can't remember. But I didn't like any of the teams left, but there was the 49ers. And I, I don't know if it's because my wife's a 49ers fan or what. But I got the 49ers for a chance at the old school guys, you know, National Treasures and a Bosa, you know, but did not do very well. So here's the base from the Dunruss, uh, Debo, Samuel, Nick Mullins, two of these Jerry Rice cards, another Debo and a George Kittle Elite Series. So I figured you, I probably would have shown that by itself but i figured i'd mix it into this mail day so then i went with uh greg p cards of giants he had a fire sale in our facebook group and i grabbed some stuff from him so we had derrick henry out of 78 the aspirations uh there's a kyler murray that that was like a lot uh mike evans aspirations out of 87 record book out of 100 Warren Moon, Mike Evans out of 50, Ronald Jones, red, white, and blue. Uh, I don't know if he threw this in because I don't remember this card. Earl Campbell from Legacy, and then that goes with this. And then it was just a couple of the rookies, and I know it's the college stuff, the Haskins. I made an offer like on the whole lot, this whole lot. And he took it, so thank you. Uh, this MVS, Marquez Valdez, Scantling out of 499 from Illusions. I just like these cards. Raise the Banner. The Joe Namath. It's green. Tom Brady. I got like five of those things now. This Eloy. And Kikuchi, whatever his name is. This is Sean Watson from Score. <laughs> and I was, I don't know, he only had a couple bucks on it. I was like, is it game used? He's like, no. I was like, a dollar? He's like, sure. So yeah. Jerome Bettis had two ninety nine. This This uh, TJ Hawkinson had a Twelve, so that was pretty cool. Short print there. Jalen Samuels on card, rated rookie. The bronze from the retail stuff. I heard he's doing really well, so I picked that up. And then I thought I was done, and he's like, "Hey, how about this for these two cards?" And I countered. Maybe he countered. I don't remember. But the David Montgomery blue ink pen pals and the Josh Jacobs black ink pen pals. So overall, good fire sale. I. Honestly, didn't think I got that much until I got it. So thank you. Check them out, Cards of Giants. And then I forgot to show this during Eloise thing because it's kind of like relation. But 
Um, during Eloy's breaks and uh, his box openings and all that stuff last weekend, the stuff that I showed you earlier today, uh, Dime Wild showed up to his house and he was saying something in the background and I was trying to listen and then I heard him and he's like, yeah, I got this Warren Moon autographed 8x10 with a certificate of authenticity and all that good stuff. And anyway, so he shot out, he just shouted out a price and literally I was like, yeah, sure. No problem. That was shipped. So for about 15 bucks, if not less without the shipping, you know, I got this. So pretty damn sweet. Uh, this Warren Moon beautiful auto. He sent me a picture. I was even going to buy it without him sending me a picture, but he sent it anyway. So yeah, pretty cool. And there's the uh, certificate and the autograph looks real enough to me after having so many. So if I count that, uh, that would be Warren Moon autograph number 23 that I own cards and it's the first picture, but it's going to be hung up and thank you for putting in a top loader because I might get a frame for it or something like that. Nothing fancy like a Walmart frame, but uh, I just still thought that was pretty bad. Bad. Uh, so thank you, Dime. Um, that's all I got now. I made a purchase earlier today. Uh, I opened up a box, my box of Series 2, which is going to be a long video, but I wouldn't suggest watching it, but I did pull a, a numbered... Alonzo card. I mean, it was the higher numbered one, but still, I guess sell, sells well. So, and I'm in. We got four random teams and Pat's break tonight. That will be starting here shortly. So, pretty excited about that too. So, and it's baseball. Crazy man. I, not in the absolute, but I'm in the baseball stuff. It's weird. Just weird how this is all working. And a little baseball kick. But yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.